So, yes, my name is Ray Corsock. I'm the Managing Director of Erudiology, and I'm going to talk about learning and trying to speed up the learning and reinforce learning when you're trying to learn a new language or Bitcoin, if anyone's going to jump on that bandwagon. So a little bit about myself. I've been teaching programming since about the late 90s, uh, mostly Microsoft Stack. I got forced into doing Java and IntelliJ a couple of years ago. Um, my talk is split into three sections, so past, present, and future. And I have no PowerPoint, it's the first thing you'll notice. So it'll be stuck on that logo for the whole time. I've done my, my talk is in, I've done a little like infographic sketch of what I'm gonna talk about, so if I keep looking down. But that becomes relevant later on. That's my learning style. Rather than lots of text on the PowerPoint. So a little bit more about for the past then. So how many of you when you were at school had a favorite teacher or a favorite class? Quite a few hands going up. Everybody to speak to there. It's, it's always different. Different classes, different teachers. Me, personally, uh, I struggled with uh, English literature, English, French, anything like that. Mainly because I found out later in life I've got dyslexia. So anything that involved lots of reading, lots of talking about nouns or verbs, I really struggled with. I didn't know that until later. Now I've done a lot more psychological theory. I loved maths. I loved code. Although GCSE IT wasn't on the curriculum when I was doing the uh, GCSEs. Um, let's have a little look around the room and I want everyone to stand up. Audience participation, different. So I've got a few uh, cue cards to make sure I don't forget these questions because it's easy to forget. So if you've learned something new over the last year, stay standing, everyone. Brilliant. If you learnt something new this month, although it's only the third, so we'll, we'll talk about the last month. Over the last rough month, if you've learnt something new, stay standing. Brilliant. Okay, you can all sit down now. <laughs> up and down, up and down. I saw someone do a talk and it was literally up and down. It looked like a, <laughs> looked like a graphic equaliser in the room. Um, how about what you're planning to learn for the next month? Is anyone here, just stick your hand up, are you planning to learn something new over the next month? Can we have a few shout outs of what they are? JavaScript. JavaScript, yes you are. <laughs> I've been talking to you about that. Any others? Terraform. Unity. Unity. Brilliant. Python. Python. Ooh. Terraform. Terraform. Wow. Thank you. Wow, brilliant. Some great names out. No one said the same, which is interesting. Um, even in this group, we're all looking at something different, which is really, really interesting. Um, also, favorite lessons at school? Anyone shout out, what was your favorite lesson? Geography. Geography, interesting for an IT crowd. Maths? English. English? Physics. Physics, okay, cool, again. You would have thought Code Harbor, coders, maths or science or physics would have been the primary choice. But we've even got a different, you can't stereotype anyone, which is interesting. Um, so a little story. A couple of years ago, I found myself in the situation of running training programs for a software vendor. And they had 300 people in their engineering department. So I was responsible for running the training programs for all of them. And they had uh, a number of different offshore locations. They had a primary one in Ukraine. They were building a new one in Kuala Lumpur. And the Ukraine team, a lot of them had been there 10, 15 years, and they knew the product really, really well. And the new team that we were doing interviews for over in Kuala Lumpur were great developers. Some of them were Microsoft uh, MVPs. They'd been given awards and things. They, they knew Visual Studio, they knew C Sharp, Azure Stack and ASP. But they didn't know our product. And upper management decided, well, we haven't got time to do training for all of these people, so let's just get them to teach each other. That went well. <laughs> yeah. People that are never taught, people that were too shy to stand up and talk, let's get them teaching each other. But anyway, we, we ran with this, and we decided to take one expert from Ukraine, two, uh, two new joiners from Kuala Lumpur, put them together in the same team. We made eight teams. 
and we said, you've got an expert from the email team, you can work with two new guys and show them how it works. And as they learn, they will document as they go and write everything out. And then we can share that documentation with everyone else in the company. That's our training material. So we kicked this thing off for six weeks. I did, a, I did an initial talk for everybody and I created the first PowerPoint and I said, there's a header, first page, last page, and a few chapters. Fill it out as you go and we can use that. It only has to be a half hour or hour talk. Six weeks later, we came back with all eight teams had something different. One team had used my PowerPoint but had filled it full of Word document text, no pictures. Another team used uh, infographic, much like I'd written down. There was just a, a single A4 page infographic. A guy on another team went home and did a video recording, 12 video recordings of him at his, in his flat, just recording like a Pluralsight course. Each team did something different. And it was a great highlight that everybody thinks their style is best, their way of learning. The amount of times I've spoken to people and they've said to me, you can't learn something unless you just get your hands on it and do it. Then other people say, no, I have to talk and chat about it. And everyone believes that their way is the way everyone else should do it. And to loop back round to why you may have hated lessons when you were younger, maybe that teacher didn't do it the way you liked it. Maybe they were just a, I was gonna think of a nice rude word I can say, but <laughs> it's been recorded. Maybe they just weren't a good teacher, but the chances are their style didn't match your style. Maybe they're doing everything visually and you're a written person, or vice versa. So I want to do another little call around the room, just with a show of hands this time. I'm not going to do standing up again. How you like to learn. So who here goes for videos, like YouTube, Pluralsight, and those sorts of things? Not everybody, but a few have put their hands up. Who likes to learn by doing tutorials, practical, having a go at things? A lot of people have put their hands up there. It's Code Harbor, like coding and having a go at things. Who likes to talk things out and chat things out? If you're, if you're paying attention, different people are putting their hands up. Some people aren't putting their hands up for anything. <laughs> but, but there are different hands going up. And so one of the tips I've got for you to help learn is to take advice from people who have the same style as you. If you're looking at movie reviews and someone says, this latest Marvel movie is brilliant, but you don't like Marvel movies, why would you listen to the review? If they love horror movies and you don't, why listen to the review? If this person loves audiobooks, you never used one, don't listen to their advice. If you're looking to learn JavaScript, find someone that has the same style as you and ask them how they learned JavaScript. You're in control of your own learning, not the person teaching you. Just because I'm standing here saying, these are five fantastic books, doesn't mean you should use those books. So the first tip is to go and find people that have the same style as you. Incidentally, where are you guys finding those that said yes to video? Which sites are you getting the videos from? Udemy. Udemy. Sorry? Linda. Linda. Yeah, I, I use LinkedIn Learning, which, is net, which was Linda. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, actually, websites Yeah, so a lot of websites have video on their websites. Um, for the, does anyone do audio books? Yeah. Because, I mean, there's, there's different choices for those. Uh, usually Audible. Audible. Yeah. Audible. You can do podcasts from Audible, but you can also do um, Spotify, do them now as well, don't they, I think? Yeah, so there's different places. Again, if you find people with the same, so when you chat to people and they say, oh, I've known that for years, make sure you ask, do you use books, do you use Audible, do you get the information out the right way for you, that suits you? Actually, Blinkist is pretty good. Isn't it? Blinklist is good, yeah, I've seen that. I don't use it myself, but I installed it and then got bored with it. Another bit of advice is the pathways in the brain. So although I'm saying, let's take video as an example because I like video. First time I'm learning something, maybe React Native, I would watch a video on it. And that builds one pathway in the brain. If I watch the second and third video, it increases the pathway a bit. If I then read a book, which isn't my normal, it's adding an extra pathway in the brain, strengthening it. So although start off with your main one, 
add in the other ones as well. Which is why when you're learning and you first of all listen to someone talk, you then have a go at doing it yourself, practical, that's two different learning styles. You're adding two layers to it. If you then chat about it in the group after, you add another layer. So doing learning with multiple different things going on helps to reinforce what you're learning. Rather than you read one book or watch one video, put it down, months later you can't remember what you did. It's like if you did a language in a job and you did C sharp five years ago but you did it for three years, you'd probably remember it now. If you only did it for one project for six months, you might have forgotten it already. But if you covered it in lots of different ways, it will help you to retain it. I tried to test out this technique recently. I had to pick something I knew nothing about. So I went back to something. I went to guitar. I've never done music at all, so I've, I've started trying to pick up a guitar and trying to learn that. Started off with, told a few friends, and they said, oh, I've got a spare guitar. You can have a go at that. Brilliant, I like hands-on. And I've got a load of books. They gave me a load of books. I'm like, Great, dyslexia, I'm not really gonna read those. Flick through them, nice CD, DVD at the back. That goes straight in, watch the DVD. Watch the DVD of the guy doing it, having a go, so I mimic that. That's how I'm learning. When I open the book, I don't even read the instructions. I'm just looking at the charts, the finger placement charts to mimic those. Maybe later on I go back and read the instructions, but that's like the third thing I do. I'm sure the author wrote them to go through in order. I don't read the writing, I just skipped it. And I find the same that when I'm doing training, when I'm running training exercises, I don't give people bullet point step-by-step -step instructions. I don't write the documents. I have to force myself to do that because some people ask for it. I did a course um, a couple of weeks ago and my instructions on the slide was just build a web page, put a button on it, maybe a text box. It was a beginner web course. And that was fine for most of the room. Some of them said, where, where, where are the instructions? I've just told you. <laughs> you just build the web page. I've just spent five minutes building one with you watching. They still wanted it written down. Nothing wrong with that. That's their way of learning. Someone else said, I, I, I saw that, but uh, we have more in the business. So I've built three web pages and I, I did about six buttons on each just because I wanted to do something different. He was hands on. He wanted to do it his own way. Again, nothing wrong with that. That's his style. So identify your way of learning. Be very clear on that. Find other people that know that topic or have your same way of learning. And then once you've covered that to start with, reinforce it with the extra bits that you're not keen on. That's it. Rattle through that nice and quick. Any questions? As kind of got to the end of it. More time for beer. Yes, I